<laughs> Being able to fly is actually going to be required, I think. Because I don't even know if I can make this little tiny jump. Uh, just about. Well, we didn't have a video on Friday uh, because I, I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Uh, I, I'm feeling quite a bit better now. So uh, we're just going to uh, continue on to Olympus Colosseum and potentially also Deep Jungle, depending on how things go. Um, I'll, I'll give you a quick overview of how things have gone down. Uh, I, I'm feeling a lot better. There's no reason as to why I was feeling as just, just half dead as I was, uh, apparently, because my doctor hasn't been able to find anything. Uh, the closest thing <laughs> is that I'd been exercising more. And with that comes better posture, and that better posture just like made my my muscles and more importantly the, the like cartilage in my ribs a little sore, which is the thing that might have made my breathing uh, a little more difficult as well. Which is just, dude, I'm I'm trying to be more healthy. I'm trying to be more healthy, and my body's like, no, you're not. So fuck you, body. Um. I did need- oh my god. <laughs> I, I did need to get a, a little blood test as well, which I haven't uh, gotten the results for yet. I do, however, uh, very funnily, have a, a pretty big purple spot on my arm where I uh, got stabbed by a needle uh, to get my blood drawn. So that's uh, less than ideal. Not that it hurts or anything. It, it's not even like an actual bruise. What happened is because obviously you have the... Uh, Oh, we need to do the training first, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, obviously, because you have the, um, the the needle stab into you, you're going to have um, a little wound there. And that's not going to immediately seal up. But the skin itself seals up almost instantly, really. Um, so what ends up happening is for like a couple of hours after I got my blood drawn, um, it's just leaking blood into under my skin, which that then creates that, uh, that purple little spot, which not great. <laughs> uh, it's mostly just annoying because of the place where it is, right? It's, uh, it's on the, like the inside of my right elbow, which is exactly like your peripheral vision. It's, it's just in the corner of what I can see. Which means that I'm not used to there being something dark on my elbow. Uh, well, the inside of my elbow. Does the inside of your elbow have its own name? Does it? I don't know. Um, we probably should focus here for a moment. Oh, I don't have fire. I don't have fire. I. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I do have an entry pass, though, so that's going to be less of a problem. Can we please thank you? We need to land this hit, otherwise we are fucked. Okay, we got it. That's good. Um, so every time I, I see it and I, I see a dark spot, I, I can't even see it's purple. I just see it's dark, right? Uh, because your per ooh, we got stop magic. Your peripheral vision uh, doesn't really like see color all too well. I, I don't need to redo really that. It mostly sees shades. Uh, if you really, like, try to pay attention to it, you'll be able to actually, like, f not feel, but, but like, see it. The thing is, you can't focus on the edges of your vision because then it becomes the center of your vision and it, it's colored. But if you really try hard, you, you can see that there's, like, maybe not no color, but your brain fills in a lot based on, like, the color it does. Um, it, it, it does see, right? Uh, your eyes see all of the color. Your brain doesn't. That, that's the big difference there, right? And it just fills in because that's uh, more efficient, apparently. I don't know. It might actually be that, like, the... the, the I don't, never know which ones are the rods and the cones in your eyes. The, the one that sees color might just... There the might be less of them as you go out, which actually makes a lot of sense. So maybe it is your eyes that don't see color and then your brain that fills it in. Anyway, if you try to pay attention to the like edges of your vision, you will definitely be able to tell that it, it's it's not quite right as far as coloration goes. If uh, if you're doing this right now while watching this video and uh, you're having difficulty unseeing this once you see it, I am very sorry for that. Should be over in like by the end of this video if I stop talking about it. 
No idea why I'm talking about this in a video where I'm beating up Heartless. Uh, so yeah, the Olympus Coliseum probably isn't going to take too long because, as you can see, I am absolutely demolishing everything around me. So, and we, we have a pretty good randomization for our size uh, variants for the Colosseum map. I hope that it's j not just this Colosseum map, but literally every single one. While I take a sip of water. Because that means that all of the cups are going to be hella easy. Uh, if we even need to do the cups, that is. I'm assuming the fight against Cerberus and just, like, all the other cups are all going to have their own, like, dedicated maps. Because obviously- oh, we have a strength up, that's nice. Uh, because obviously, like, one of them uh, is the exact same map in the Her Hercules Cup, but I think the... and Phil Cup. But then you have one cup, which is goofy, can you please fuck off? Um, which is set during, like, sunset, and then you have the Hades Cup, which is a combination of all of these, and, um, ha even has a, a new arena type, and then you have, um, the Sephiroth fight, and the Ice Titan fight, and there's a lot of different kinds of arenas. I'm assuming just for every single, like, match you can pick in the overworld, it's going to have a different randomization. But I guess we're going to find out right now. Because we just saw what we could do with the normal cup. Let's see what the Cerberus fight is like. It seems to be the same. And it actually seems to be the same as the training area as well. Which is very, very good. Uh, let's see. We have... We have Thunder. Which we can actually fucking use. Amazingly enough. You know what? <laughs> this actually isn't that bad. You can just use hit instead of attack. It's literally the exact same thing, I believe. Um, but it's kind of nice that we can just have an attack on our uh, on our shortcut menu. And Cerberus fight is just this easy. Most fights are probably going to be relatively easy in this randomization, I imagine. Uh, then again, whenever we get cursed with Toothpick Keyblade um, as... I read is possible in the comments of, I think, the last episode, maybe the episode before that. As long as we get good randomizations for the actual Keyblades, or Dream Rods, in this case, we use, we're probably fine. The moment we get a boss which we can't skip, which has a shitty randomization as far as, like, our size or our Keyblade size go, that ain't great. We still haven't gotten another... Not another weapon. That's really annoying. Uh, we do have a Cosmic Arts though, so might as well equip that, right? At this point, maybe even prefer that over the Cosmic Arts, because it has more HP, gives us more MP, which is good for summons, and AP. I don't really need the experience, as you can see in what I just did. I am fairly overpowered as is. Uh, let's try to see if we have something that's not a potion. Or a Mega Potion or an Ether. No. So we do need to go get that. And that is more like it. That's the MP gauge I want to see. And the HP gauge. I keep forgetting how much difference equipment actually makes within Kingdom Hearts 1. Obviously, in later games, it makes much less of a difference than in Kingdom Hearts 1. In Kingdom Hearts 1 specifically, it's, it's really, really powerful. Uh, to have good equipment. So let's go to Deep Jungle and see how this good equipment is going to serve us. Because God knows I need it. Uh, that was a 10 minute war. That was very, very quick. Is there anything we're working towards? Oh, that's, that, that's not a great wind-up animation. Can I just use hit? No, that's the same animation. Okay. Uh, I can use Dumbo, though. And with the... I still need to disable the summon animations. With the more MP I have, I should have more of this as well. Which... Should absolutely demolish this... This cat. It more or less did, actually. Th that was pretty good. I like the idea of using summons more. It, it took randomizing literally almost everything about the game. 
in order for me to care about summons in any capacity in literally any game. Because even in Kingdom Hearts 3, where they're supposedly fairly good, I can't seem to deal with them very well, so... I don't even use them that much in there. But... Can we make this jump is the question. I think we might be able to, right? Yeah, we can! Which means that we can actually skip a very annoying jump. Because usually you need high jump to get all the way up here through other routes, I think. Uh, we don't at the moment, obviously, because I made that jump. I've never even attempted to make that jump. I never even knew that that was a jump that could be attempted to make. To be made. Whatever. Grammar. But we got the Mithril, so that's a thing. And now we can jump down here, which leads us to... You see, usually I'd go there through this route. But I think the way I just did it might be the intended way, honestly, because this seems a lot easier. Um, I am very, very bad at all the chests in this area, so it's going to take me a hot minute to get everything. And I can't even get everything, right? Because there's going to be... Why is this area here? There's going to be things that I need glide for. Okay. Uh, like that chest over there, we can't get it without glide. So... I guess that means we don't get any other chests anymore. Uh, let's just jump down because there's one more chest down here somewhere. There it is. And then whenever we get Glide, which would have been too nice if that was Glide, wasn't, wouldn't be. Actually, do we have any other abilities? We have Ragnarok and Combo Plus. Might as well. Especially since I have so much damn MP and no fucking way to use it. Might as well use Ragnarok every once in a while. Because that's actually a really, really powerful ability. Um, I am a very speedy boy. Is that some good equipment? That is the question. Um, it gives me more AP, but takes away literally everything else. And I don't really... I don't think I need Chia. I don't know actually what Chia does, to be honest. Oh, yeah, no, Tarzan is absolutely huge. That's not going to be an issue at fucking all. Okay, that helps. As long as Tarzan just keeps dying, <laughs> I can just do this sliding section. I do realize, by the way, uh, now that the last time I did the Kingdom Hearts 1 randomizer. I didn't do like this sliding section over here, for instance, which does also reward you with items, usually dark matter and synthesis items. You need 40 or small weapon. Obviously, it's not going to be dark matter and other synthesis items, probably. A power up, a mega, a mega atha. Okay, that's the other item I needed. There we go. We've got four different items now. One of which is a Ragnarok! That's amazing! I didn't know that was possible! We, we can have Ragnarok on command sometimes. But at least in this map we can, and Mega Alexa as well. Okay, that's real good. That's just slide 5 for whatever reason. Uh, do we actually need to get all the slides? I don't think we did last time, so I'm assuming we... Amsterdam's report. I'm, I'm assuming we don't this time around either. But we might have to, which wouldn't be ideal. Not ideal in the least. Remind me. You can't remind me because this is not live. Summon animation. I didn't see what that was. Um, as much as I like Tarzan, uh, I, I prefer being able to do the Trinities, so... Magatha. Okay, so we go into config, we go into... Not config? Customize, maybe? Wait, can I not turn off summon animations in Kingdom Hearts 1? Hold on a moment. Um... I, I don't think we can... I don't think we can turn off summon animations in Kingdom Hearts 1. If you can, please do let me know in the comments, because I, I don't know where it is, if you can. Oh, and we can fly! 
I do wonder how high this map goes. Not that high, apparently. Uh, where do we go from here, though? Oh, we, we, we go talk to Jane because we found all the slides, which, again, don't know if this is going to let us progress because we don't actually have the slides. Is it going to let us progress? Yeah, it's going to let us progress. Okay, that's good. Means that we don't actually need to go find all the sl Wait. This is supposed to trigger a cutscene when you find all the slides. And I found all the slides! Does this mean that we can't do the rest of this world? I think this might mean we can't do the rest of this world until we get the other slides. But how many- okay, so no, hold on a moment, hold on a fucking moment here. We have slide four twice, slide five, and that's it. So why did I see like four slides there? That doesn't add up. I'm... oh, there's one more slide over here. I'm... which is just straight up slide six. Okay, let's see if we now can finish. Yeah, we can. I was just being a bit of a silly idiot, that's all. And we can... you know what? You know what? We, uh... We can do this. Was that worth it? Yeah, because we can immediately go back in here and replenish our MP. So, yeah, definitely that was HIGHLY worth it! <laughs> because I- you never really get to use Ragnarok. Ragnarok is a very rare ability to actually get to use. Because usually you get it fairly late in the game, and it, it's fairly expensive to use and all that kind of jazz, and there's no way in hell that I'm gonna be able to get all of these chests without high jump and or glide. So, that's a bit of a bother. And... I might not even be able to get... Oh, that is an amazing jump. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, that's where my luck ends. Okay. I'm gonna try getting the other chest. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a good old try, but I don't think... Oh, we can make it, actually. I didn't think we'd be able to. And it's Poppies! Now we can make it onto this one, and... This jump might actually be impossible. I'm gonna try it without swinging one more time, but I very much doubt that we can actually make this jump at our current uh, ability set with everything included, like our speed and our size. Okay, never mind. We can make it, and we did make it. There's a couple of chests up in the upper area here as well, I do believe, so we need to swing around a little to get those, which is slightly annoying, but not too bad, I suppose. Uh, because we can just, yeah, we can jump on. And we can jump, next, jump, next, jump, next, jump, next. And just keep doing that, really. And that gets us... to this chest. <laughs> My keyblade is fucking enormous in this map! It's just kind of useless, because there's no enemies around here, so that, that's just sad. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. Uh, but that does give me a very, very good reason to uh, make my way back in this direction, because I think there might be one or two more chests uh, hidden around the, the earlier parts of this, uh, this thingy-bajig. The, the swing rope. Vine! Vines! That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, apparently there's also a save point here, which I always forget because I never come up here. Uh, but surely there must be something going on here? Right? So, I'm assuming that I can... find a chest somewhere around here. And there we go! We have our chests. There we go. It's probably going to be literally only this one, and it's more puppies! I'll never say no to puppies. 
unless I only get poppies when I want actual items. Like, I'd very much like a actual Keyblade at any point in time. Not that it matters that much, because the Dream Rod is an absolutely beastly weapon. It's, it's so goddamn powerful. Uh, where do we go exactly from here? I, I think we... Wait, where do we go? <laughs> we, we were just here. Uh, we, we need to go up, I know that, but... There's like... A vine somewhere that lets us... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're making our way towards it now. So this is the other way to get over to this place and to trigger this cutscene and move on. Uh, if you can't make those hippo jumps for whatever fucking reason, and... Being able to fly in this area is actually gonna be helpful. So, thank you. And a torn page! When we unlock... Oh, the, the, it, it's actually gonna be required. <laughs> Being able to fly is actually gonna be required, I think. Because... I don't even know if I can make this little tiny jump. Uh, just about. Just about I can make it. Oh, please tell me that I get the ability to fly in this map as well now. Of course I didn't. It would have been too fucking nice, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, when we, when we get the 100 acre wood unlocked at any point in time, which I... The moment we get... It's a very good question. I, I assume that we... I don't know. I don't know when we unlock that for sure. Because we don't have the Navi... Gummy please, yet. We, we might get it at the end of this war that might still be locked in in this version of the randomizer. But I am not entirely sure. I am not 100% sure how that works. So uh, that'll be interesting to find out. This is also a very, very surreal thing. Why is that animation not playing? It's very surreal to do this, this Tarzan tree trunk branch thing slide with the Wonderland music? It's just it's kind of weird. Not unpleasant, but still kind of weird. Oh, look at how small they are. They're so cute. 